my name is Hans Moll. I'm a senior scientist at Rickelt Institute of Food Safety. We are part of the Wageningen University, so located in Wageningen in the Netherlands. We mainly work for the Dutch government. We perform statutory tasks uh, in the field of food and feed safety. So we're focusing on all kinds of uh, residues and contaminants, so including pesticides, uh, veterinary drugs, different kinds of natural toxins, including mycotoxins, plant toxins, marine biotoxins, uh, environmental co contaminants, processing contaminants, so really a wide variety of different uh, contaminants and toxins, also in a wide variety of food and feed commodities. The challenge we're faced with, we have to try to cover them all uh, in a more efficient manner. Um, so we try to get as much information out of the samples that are being taken as possible. So traditionally uh, we would get questions like one specific type of toxicant in one matrix, but now we try to get more information out of the samples we get covering preferably both mycotoxins, pesticides and other contaminants, that information from one sample. We have to do this in a most cost-effective manner. Look for the compounds that are regulated, but at the same time look out for compounds that are not yet regulated, but might be regulated in the future. So we want to see, to know about the occurrence of those kind of compounds. Preferably at the same time we do the um, compliance checking for the regulated compounds. With the QX active focus, it will make our work more efficient. So in the past we would go for a quantitative analysis of a limited set and then a separate analysis for the qualitative screening of other compounds. This will now be included in one. Um, up to a few years ago, this was not really possible because either the sensitivity of the full scan uh, instruments was not sufficient or the data handling tools were inadequate for an efficient uh, analysis. The sensitivity we have now with the full scan instruments and the software allows us to do a really comprehensive analysis of the samples, looking for multiple types of, con of residues and contaminants at the same time. We can is easily go through the data, any potential positives can be checked and discarded if the diagnostic ions that we require are not, uh, are not present. So, and this combination really allows us to use this in a more routine-like environment. On the quantitative workflow, I expect it to do exactly the same as we are used to uh, from the triple quadrupolar instruments. On the qualitative, on the scope side of the method, uh, my expectation is that the impact will be that we will find more uh, not expected uh, residues and contaminants that would normally not be looked after because they are very likely to be present. But now, since it's so easy to look for all of those, we are, like, we are likely to pick up more contaminants, more residues, and also this data would be of interest uh, to screen or either in retrospect screen for compounds that might not be of interest at this moment, but may be of interest in, in the near future.